Hi, it's the Amish Furniture Insider. Welcome, I'm Rusty Humphreys. We are brought to you by Steiner's Amish Furniture in Chandler, Arizona, and in Sun City, Arizona. And here is the Amish Furniture Insider himself, Brett Steiner. All right, folks, this is Ruben, and he's in charge here at this Miller Cabinet Rocker Shop. Um, so he's gonna explain to us a little bit how the rockers are made and what they have going on here. So, go to it. Okay. Uh, back in here, for our CNC router, is where all the material comes in. And, you know, everything routed, everything to, except for the turn parts, we buy those in turn the way they are. You know, we don't manufacture them or anything. So those are custom by another um, shop? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything, anything flat, square, we do on the route. Okay. So then I'm sure this is something you want to show off over here. The router? Yeah. So what do we, what do we have going on? Now you were saying something about not a typical Amish shop would have this. Right. And right now, what that thing's doing is, is cutting out the seat for the, for the wire. Okay. You know, we used to glue them together, take them on the bandsaw, cut them out, and then we take them on the drill press, and we probably have six or eight different steps, you know, drilling the holes and stuff. Right. And probably take about three or four guys to do it, what this guy is doing in, I think it's like five minutes per seat that it does, and have all the seat drills and how long have you had this? Uh, three years. Three years now. Now is that considered cheating for Amish furniture? Not really, not anymore. <laughs> Why? Because Amish furniture's come a long way. You know, it used to be considered all handcrafted, but it's not anymore. I mean it's in order to stay competitive? Yeah, in order to stay competitive and keep up with it, there's no way you can do it all by hand anymore. So what makes it better than just every other furniture place? How it's made. How it's made, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's better quality, better wood, uh, the way it's put together and everything. I mean, not simply because it's Amish furniture, not because it's Amish guy build it. You guys can do the same thing. It's just the way we do it. The way you do it. Attention and you take to detail. Right? right. Attention to detail and take pride in your work that you're doing. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which that's been for years. How easy it is is it to get employees now? Well, it's not as easy as it used to be. Right. Uh, you know, if you get them young kids when they come out of school, you can have them for a couple of years till they realize they can work outside on construction and you know roofing and right make a lot more money than they do in here. Right. But even if for any even construction, isn't it kind of hard for them to find help? It's. Yeah, it, it is. It's getting tough. It's hard to find good help. Good help, yes. <laughs> so it's not like you're putting people out to unemployment. You're actually, people are finding jobs. Right. They have jobs. Yeah. So. You know, anybody that, anybody that wants a job has a job in uh -huh. this area anyhow. Right. And it almost seems like anybody that's looking for a job is not worth hiring. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Being honest. <laughs> So you got a sander here? Sander here that we run the seat through after they come off the router. You know, run them through just to you know, smooth everything out and make everything nice. Because you put them in there right after you do the glue ups over here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So right over here is where they do all the glue ups. So they glue it up and spins around, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, put them on there and glue them up. Actually before, yeah, before you put mm -hmm. the router, obviously. 
So are those uh, mortise and tenon? Mm -hmm. So the joints are mortise and tenon. So that's something different that you normally wouldn't find in some of the other right, yeah. manufacturers. They might put dowel pins in there or something. Right. Mortise and tenon is going to be a lot stronger. Exactly. All right, so in here then you're, what, so assembling? Here's where all the pieces and parts come in and they put the puzzles together. Uh-huh. So you've got, what, three workers in here? Uh, normally. Normally? One of, them, one of them's missing right now. I'm not sure where he's at. Okay. No weddings today? Not. Not, not for your workers, Not huh? for our workers, no. Nope. Because uh, typically on a Tuesday or... Or what, Tuesday, Thursday? Tuesday Thursday. Yeah. It's gonna be, Anymore, it's... Any Friday, day of the week. It's Wednesdays, yeah, because there's so many of them. They can't all do it on Tuesday and Thursday. So today, it's... Is it always gliders, or...? No. I mean, tomorrow it might be kids' rockers, or high chairs, or... Uh-huh. Might, might be more gliders. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. For so how? Part, it's gliders. So we've got a lot of gliders sitting here. How many do you do in a year? Uh, less. I really kind of estimate it was right around four, between four or four thousand, four five hundred, in all styles combined. Yeah. Hey, watch your head. That heater's. <laughs> yeah, so that's a lot, a lot of gliders, a lot of gliders, a lot of homes. Hey Wes, smile, you're on camera. <laughs> Is that your boy? No. <laughs> Neighbor. It's time for Stephanie's tip of the day. All right, so I got another tip for you today. This is quick, easy, if you need something to go to that holiday party or you got family or somebody coming and you just need something quick and easy. A block of cream cheese, you can use a whole block, half a block, I'm just gonna use a half a block today. Is this an appetizer? This is an appetizer, okay. yeah, sorry. Yep, so however much you wanna use. I'm using a half a block in this. And I'm gonna show you two at the same time because I just roll that way so I cut a block of cream cheese in half I'm gonna put one in each bowl here there we go gloves are so fun to work with this is our family favorite bacon smoky bacon smoky barbecue bacon jam it's awesome on toast, oh my, yeah, it's great. Hamburgers, mmm, and you just pour it over top of your cream cheese. Use as much or as little as you want. I use a lot. Strong arms, strong hands. Maybe. There you go. That one's done. Oops. Did I have a spoon? There we go. And, oh, sorry. This one is pepper relish. S sweet, sweet and hot pepper relish. You can use it on fish, um, just as a salsa uh, with chips. We like it again with, over top of the cream cheese. You can mix it into your cream cheese and it makes like a, a fluff. It's really good that way. Um, on hot dogs with as a relish, um, hamburgers, it's really good. And I'm just gonna pour it over top of the cream cheese. Yep. Oh, this looks good. There you go. Two easy, quick, 
appetizers for whichever, whatever party you have to go to. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I thought I could taste it. <laughs> I guess. Go ahead. Oh, I'm allowed? Oh, yeah, it's ahead. awesome. I'm kind of hungry. That's my tip of the day. Mmm. It's awesome. So, you do kind of watch the humidity though, so you don't have too we, much. Yeah, if you get too much, you know, the grain will raise and you'll have all kinds of, all kinds of issues. Right, parts, chairs coming apart and. And then in the winter time, if it gets too dry, right. well actually in the winter time when it dry out, that's when they come apart. Right. In the summertime, they basically swell up. Swell. And you'll have all kinds of issues. It's gotta be somewhat controlled, mm -hmm. summer and winter. So what's a good moisture at? 45 to 55 is is good is good uh, a lot of times we're around 60 70 which we can live with that but mm -hmm. it should, okay. be, should be lower so our climate that we have in Arizona going from here to Arizona much of an issue would you with a 10 percent humidity probably yeah. probably if you control it what's in your house huh yeah if you control it what's in your house you shouldn't have a have an issue. Mm -hmm. but not something you want to stick outside because it would no. wouldn't last very long. Not very long at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Ruben, tell Brian he needs to buy one of these. He has a new granddaughter. High chair. You have a granddaughter? I do. A new granddaughter. Yes. Yeah. You don't have a high chair for her? Month old. Month old. Not yet. Well, she won't need one just yet. What are you waiting on? <laughs> <laughs> Another six months. So basically, right now, do you? You have enough stock if somebody calls they need in a couple weeks, depending if it's the right thing, it's not custom. Yeah. Pretty easy to get. Pretty pretty easy to get right now. Yeah, once you run into September, October, then yeah. it's a little more tough of a time. Yeah. Then we'll be like five, six weeks behind maybe. Right, yeah. because of Christmas coming up. Right. So that's an important thing in our time is that people plan out for Christmas because early times get longer and longer. So, exactly. And helps you out because you don't stress as much. So. Mm -hmm. When should you be ordering for Christmas? July. <laughs> they always say Christmas in July, July right? <laughs> actually, yeah, July, August, because by the time you get it to Arizona, it'll be September. Right. And, you know, some of the stuff, I know it's going to take longer than some of our stuff. Right. But Especially if you want to customize a little bit or whatever. You know, August, September. You need to be getting that order in because we will be running November-ish at that point in time and getting a little scared whether we're going to get it, mm -hmm. you know, in time. Sooner the better to help everybody out. Yeah. This is the finishing end then. We're heading to the, the last part. Everybody's everybody's favorite favorite room. Everybody's dream job, right? Yeah. You have to get the right person that wants to work in here. Um, it actually brings the the product to life, you know, from the bare wood to getting something on it. Yeah, you can you can take a piece of quality furniture and totally ruin it with a finish job. Exactly. Somewhat take a piece of junk and make it look halfway decent with a good finish. Job. Exactly. But so, in honesty, this is where it's at. Right. Uh, it's kind of like an artist. Yeah, you can cover anything up. Yes. <laughs> yep. You can, if you know your way around it, you can do it. So that's. Um, I've always enjoyed that aspect of the finish shop because it really does bring the wood piece to life. And you actually, you actually finished yourself too, didn't you? Right, I did. For I did three, too. for three years, I did it. I did it probably for six, eight years. Yeah. Uh, Everybody should have to do that, right? They should. Yes. And after you do it for a while, I mean, you just kind of. You learn to like it. Oh yeah, you learn to like it. You know, yeah. it. The first day I did it, I was like, what am I doing here? Uh -huh. 
but after a while, you know, it's just like any other job, you know, you get used to it, and it was actually fun. Yes, yes. I need to stand in furniture. You know, for me now to go back and start doing it again, I'd probably drag my feet for a couple days, but... Then I once could. you once you get this into the swing of it, yeah. I mean, I've done that too. I've helped the guys out at the shop. Well, once I spend a few hours or whatever getting into the groove, well, it's not so bad. It's that everybody thinks it's bad, but once you get into it, uh, I mean, it's. I enjoyed the job. Yeah. Onto the warehouse part, or I guess you got to assemble it. You got to put after yeah, it's here's, finished. Here's where we assemble everything after it's finished and put the, the, the bases under the gliders. How they swivel. We got the ball bearings in there, so we got to put those in. Finish them. Finish them up. Then they come out here and wait for somebody to come get them picked up and take them to the store to their yeah. customers. Yeah, these are all orders, you know, ready to be picked up and out the door. Now you, uh, maybe just go back this way. You stock a lot of fabrics too, right? Yeah. So, um, So if you come in here, you see all the stock stuff. But of course, you can't stock everything that you... No. Every fabric and stuff. So there's certain selections that are stocked. Yeah, we, we, I think there's like 46 to 50 different colors that we try to keep in stock. You know, up to weaver fabrics. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot, of, a lot of them that we don't stock. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So... And in a sense, those that you don't stock go into like a custom because it takes a little bit longer. Right. You can say that custom because it takes a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So this is it. So here we are, a couple old men back at Steiner's Amish Furniture. I remember the good old okay. days back in the 1980s. <laughs> There's this guy named Michael Jackson. I don't know if you remember. Anyway, uh, Brent, we're back in uh, at Steiner's Amish Furniture in, uh, we're in... Sun City, Sun, Arizona. This is Sun City. You've got another one in Chandler, Chandler right? Yes. Um, these chairs, um, you were just, we were just at the factory on right. the show, and um, these are the chairs they make there. The these are the chairs, yes. Uh, Ruben showed us around. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of cool pictures and video of that, which I hope you enjoy. Um, a lot of neat features with his. This is two of his rockers. You're sitting in the, the newest of his. It's it actually, it really is very comfortable. And it swivels too, which is nice. Mine mm. is a stationary, so you can get it both ways. So it's a nice feature. Really? But you'll notice different colors, mm -hmm. different fabrics. We showed you around uh, showing that he has different fabrics available. So it's really cool. <coughs> what solid makes, construction. Yeah, I was going to say, what makes this so solid? What is it? We saw how they made it. You know, now you can tell the truth. He's not there. You, if you have something bad to say about him, you could do it no. as the insider. What is it that they do that's so great? I can't say anything bad about it, really. Yeah. Um, the solid wood and the, and the glued in joints, they put screws into the joints, too, because mm -hmm. that does help with construction. Yes, they do use screws. Yeah. I have people think that they don't use anything like that, but in order to make a good long-lasting quality product you got to do some of that stuff right well you it, know you it, you could tell just by sitting in it that right. this thing's gonna last right you got the the bearings which it glides on in the bottom and yes American made bearings mm -hmm. were very particular they they tried to ship in some China ones for them uh-uh they said no I don't want they those. caught it good they're, they're worth paying a little bit more to get some quality okay. product so well, uh, speaking of quality product, if you want that, Steiner's Amish Furniture is the place to go. Uh, you can find them. Well, first of all, make sure you subscribe to the Amish Furniture Insider. Brett Steiner uh, really kind of showing you things that nobody else is showing you anywhere. First of all, uh, nobody else can get you into an Amish Furniture factory like Brent has. So uh, I'm enjoying the show. I know you are too. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, also share it, please. Let people know about the Amish Furniture Insider if they're doing
do-it-yourselfers or just like quality uh, handmade furniture, they want to see how it's done, uh, let folks know about the Amish Furniture Insider. Again, you can find them online right up there. It is what? <laughs> Amish Furniture Insider? No, no, the website. Oh, the it's website. Steiners. It's, it's SAFAZ.net. SAFAZ.net. Or SteinersAmishFurniture.com. It's a little bit longer. So, yeah. So, But it works. It works. It works. Either way. <laughs> well, we sure appreciate you. My name is Rusty Humphreys for Brent and Stephanie Steiner. We'll catch you next time right here on the Amish Furniture Insider, brought to you by Steiners Amish Furniture.